Good evening. Good evening. Hi, class. Hello, I'm here. Thank you so much for being on time. Gracias por estar a tiempo. Ya estoy acá. How are you? How are you today? Are you happy today? Are you tired today? How are you today? Quiero saber cómo están ahorita. How are you today? Good. You're good. I'm Excellent, tired. Rebecca. I'm tired. Okay. And the rest of the <laughs> Yes, you know, it was a busy day for me. He caminado tanto, no tienen idea. Me di una perdida buscando un lugar y no andaba en carro, pero hay que hacer ejercicio, okay? Tomémoslo siempre por el lado positivo. <laughs> Excellent. So I'm really happy to see you once again. Tell me, class, what day is it today? Is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday today. Yes or not? Tuesday. Yes. Marlon, is it Tuesday today? Tuesday. Sí. Yeah. No. Well, Monday, yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> Thursday. Monday, uh -huh. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday. Yes. Thursday. Yes. Bien. Muy bien, clase. Tuesday. Thursday. Martes. Thursday. Thursday. Jueves. Sí, entonces ahora estamos en Thursday. Thursday, what? Yeah. March 17. Ahí estamos con la fecha. No olvidemos, primero van las letras, luego los números. Thursday, March 17, 2022. Or 2022. Don't forget to practice. Cada cosa que hayan aprendido, practíquela. No solo en la clase, sino que todos los días, ¿ok? So, we are going to take the attendance list in five minutes. Cinco minutos tomamos la lista, ¿ok? Tengo a uh, 18 students. Wow, solo 18. Class, cameras on all the time. Solo Cristelia me ha justificado su cámara apagada en este momento. Los demás, I want to see you guys. There you go, Christian. There you are. How about Juana, Eric, Roxana? Where are you guys? And second, escribamos su nombre completo, por favor. Tal cual está como en el tui, para que cuando pasemos la lista, esté completito. Tengo a Kevin, a Jorge, por favor. Jennifer. And complete name, please. There you go. So... Do you remember the topic from yesterday? We were talking about what was the topic from yesterday? Yes? We were talking about the simple present testament. There you go. Mm -hmm. Using do and don't and does. Do and does, okay. Very good. Do and does. We were talking about positive or negative. affirmative statements and negative. Bien. So what are we missing? ¿Qué nos hace falta? Mm -hmm. Excellent questions. Questions. Here we go. So let's start with that topic again. Veamos. Let's make questions. Please don't forget to have your notebook. Notebook ready all the time. So you can take some notes. And if you have questions, please help me out. So cameras on. Una vez más repito, cámaras encendidas, por favor. Es uno de nuestros compromisos en cada clase. Okay? Para que podamos interactuar. Here we go. Simple present statements, but in this case, questions, interrogative form, formula. Look at this one we have. Auxiliary verb, do or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. And at the end, we have question mark. ¿Cómo decimos signo de interrogación en inglés? How do we say signo de interrogación? 
question mark. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Question mark at the end. Question mark at the end. El signo de interrogación es bien importante. Si no, no estamos haciendo la pregunta de una forma correcta. Question mark. Okay, so there we go with the examples. Look, what do I have here? And I need six volunteers now. Raise your hand. Six volunteers to read. Six volunteers. Raise your hands. I have three, four, five. One more. Six. There you are. Six. Rebecca, number one. Do I live far from here? One more time. Do I live? I live no, far live, live. from here. He's live. Live. Aha, uh -huh, but live. look at this one. Whenever we are making questions, siempre que hacemos preguntas, pasa algo, chicos. La entonación va para arriba. It goes up. Up. Not down. Up. Si no, estaríamos haciendo una entonación de una oración afirmativa, pero no, es una interrogativa. So, do I live far from here? Do I live far from here? So, Rebecca, you can try it again, please. Try it again. Do I live far, far from here? One more time, one more time. I know you can do it. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Do I live for <laughs> for from here? <laughs> Do I live far from here? Do I live far from here? Mira, here, va para arriba. Here. Go. Here. <laughs> there you go, Rebecca. Excellent job. <laughs> Sandra Cecilia. Continue, Sandra Cecilia. Do you live near here? Oh, great intonation. Excellent job. Kevin, continue, please. Okay, does he work downtown? One more time. Uh, does he work downtown? Wow, does he work downtown? Jorge, continue. Does she drive to work? Oh, great intonation. Jose Armando. Do we live alone? Do we live alone? Excellent. And who else? Who's missing? No more volunteers. Who's missing? Okay, let me pick somebody. Um, Adriana. Oh, please go ahead yeah. and, then, and then you, Marlon. Mm -hmm. Do they need a car? Do they need a car? Okay, excellent. So, can you copy these statements in your notebook, please? On your notebook right now. Copiémoslos, le doy un minutito. Go. Did you finish? One extra minute. Do I live far from here? Do you live near here? Does he work downtown? Does she drive to work? Do we live alone and do they need a car? There you go. Let me know if you finish. Do they need a car? Mm -hmm. Do they need a car? 
Do they need a car? Excellent pronunciation, Jose Armando. Do they need a car? Finish. Yes, no. Yes. Yes, yes means we finished. We're done. So I need different volunteers, different volunteers. And what are we going to do? Listen, quiero que se atrevan a participar, okay? No les dé miedo participar. Now, I'm going to show you affirmative statements and you are going to make questions. Ustedes van a hacer las preguntas, okay? But before, vamos ahorita con la asistencia antes que lo olvide, okay? Say here or present, here or present. Let me look for it. Nine to 10. Okay, here we go. Today is 17. Vamos, chicos. Adriana González. Here. Here, excellent. Ana Karina Orellana. Present. Okay. Ana Maria Sass. Present. Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Present. Excellent. Carlos Alberto Villalobos. Okay, maybe she's here. here. Chris, there you are. Let me see. Villalobos. Yes. Ah, yes, you're there. Say here, teacher. I'm here. Christian Adonai Ramirez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Cristelia Rosalina Jimenez. Present. Very good. Christian Alberto Reyes. Present. Edgar Francisco Galeano. I'm here. Excellent. Edgar Isaac Mayen. <coughs> okay. Is Edgar Mayen here? No. Eric Sigifredo Hernandez. Sigifredo. Present. Very good. Jennifer Hernandez. Present. Joaquín Chávez. Joaquín Antonio Chávez. Ok, Joana Beatriz Rivas. Jorge Alberto Hernández. I am here. Excelente. Jose Armando Hernández. Okay. Juana Beatriz Díaz. Yes. Excellent. Catherine Larisa Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin Alexander Hernández. Okay. Marlon Ovidio Escalante. Present. Rebeca Abigail Calderón. Present teacher. Okay. René Eduardo Guardado. Okay. Roxana Beatriz Marroquín. Present. Excellent. Samuel Eduardo Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. And Yesenia Claribel Cruz Díaz. Ok. ¿Alguien que no haya mencionado o a todos los mencioné? So, I'm just missing. Me hace falta Eric Isaac. Joaquín Antonio, Joana Beatriz. René Eduardo y Yesenia. Bien. We can continue with the class right now. Here we go. There we go. So, as I mentioned before, I need new volunteers. No quiero los mismos. Todos participemos. We are going to do this. Let me see. Five volunteers. Five volunteers. So we can 
do this practice right now by volunteers. I prefer volunteers rather than victims. Que quieren voluntarios o victimas. Volunteers are victims. Ah, there you go, excellent. Jennifer, number one, please. Make an interrogative statement now. Interrogative, please. I take the bus. Okay, ese es affirmative. Ahora convirtámoslo en interrogative. Make it interrogative. Do I take the bus? Mm -hmm. Yes. ¿Qué le falta, clase? Falta algo. La entonación. Vamos, Jennifer, no se preocupe por el ruido de, del fondo. No se preocupe. La idea es practicar. Vamos. Do I take the bus? Excellent job. Very good job, Jennifer. Carlos Cabrera, go ahead and continue. Do I drive to work? Excellent pronunciation. Great job, Carlos. Carlos Alberto Villalobos, you're next. Did you take the train? Excellent. Marlon, continue. Does do you do you take the no? Do you we walk to school? Wow, well, do we walk to school? Intonation, please. One more time, Marlon. <clears throat> Do we walk to school? Ah, oh, there you go. Just sound different. Excellent. Adriana, the last one is for you. Uh, do they take the, the subway? One more time. Do they take the subway? Okay, do they take the subway? Excellent. Uh, Eric, continue with this one, Eric. Eric. This one, he. Ah, Eric, ¿cómo convertimos la primera en pregunta? Does he take the bus? Muy bien. Does he take the bus? Muy bien, muy bien, chicos. Who's next? ¿Quién más? Cristian Alberto. Cristian Alberto. Does she drive the go? One more time. Does she drive to work? Ah, ok. Cuando tenemos un auxiliar, el verbo cambia o le agregamos S o no. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? ¿Sí o no? No. Entonces sería, does she drive to work? Muy bien. Does she drive to work? There we go. Excellent job. Questions about... Y en la primera no sería igual. Exacto, lo mismo porque con he uh -huh. y con she, y con vamos a she usar se le elimina la S. Usamos este, entonces omitimos la S. Solo si es entonces, en afirmativo y no hay ningún auxiliar. Acuérdense que el auxiliar, desde que tenemos un auxiliar al inicio o desde que lo estamos usando para negativo, ya ese no nos permite modificar nuestro verbo. El auxiliar no deja que modifiquemos el verbo. En el caso, si es afirmativo y como no hay ningún auxiliar para la tercera persona, he, she, and it, vamos a agregarle es o es. No sé si vieron el post, revisaron el post que yo les envié. Ayer les envié una imagen que nos indica cómo podemos modificar los verbos en presente simple para la tercera persona. ¿Sí? ¿Vieron la imagen, chicos, en WhatsApp? Yes, no? Yes, so, that is the practice. Cameras on. Otra vez lo veo con cámaras apagadas. Cameras on. So, if we go to the platform, there we have a video. Let's watch a video so we can discuss about these conversations that we have. Let's go two simple present questions in conversations. Here we go. And it's very interesting.
Look, here we are. Déjenme saber si escuchan. Let me know if you listen, if you hear the video. The next question. Yes, no? Yes. Yes, okay, let's go back and back and back. Additionally, you'll practice. Wait, what happened to it? Okay. It's a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, but before we continue, look at this conversation. What do we have here? We have two, well, we have, let me see, Jack and Amy. They are having a conversation. What is this conversation about? What is the conversation about? ¿De qué están hablando ellos? Yes. Uh, they get up we're talking late about uh, and uh, they uh, get up. Yes, Rebecca says they get up late. Sandra, they get up. Well, ¿quién más me dijo algo? Veamos. Who was it? They. They, uh, about, they go to the park. About uh -huh, they are about. Uh -huh. So, just to. Eh, solo para recordarles, cuando yo estoy compartiendo pantalla, veo eh, solo dos o tres camaritas. Por eso, cuando vayan a participar, mi teacher, okay? Díganme para yo saber, o levántenme la mano. So, where are they? They are in front of. Is this a supermarket? Is this. Um, Okay, wait. Park. Where are they? Donde están? Coffee. Coffee? What is the name of this coffee? Déjeme compartir de nuevo. What is the name of this coffee place? Yes. Susan's Coffee Shop. Susan's Coffee Shop. Susan's Coffee Shop. Very good. Jack and Amy, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Do you sleep late on weekends, class? Do you sleep, la uh, sleep late on Sunday or Saturday? Yes All or no? Week. Do you sleep late? Se levantan tarde el sábado y el domingo? Do you sleep late? No. No, I am yeah. I'm sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, only, right? Mm -hmm. Only mm -hmm. Sunday. Only Sundays. Por lo menos un día merecemos Sundays. So, miren la siguiente pregunta. What time do you get up on Sundays? What time do you get up on Sundays? Around 10 a.m. Around 10. Wow, you're a lucky guy. How about uh, Amy? Read the conversation. What time does she get up on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Amy, Amy, look. At 10 o'clock. Oh, imagine at 10 o'clock. What time do you get up on Sundays, Amy? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at Noon. noon. Imagine what time is noon. ¿Qué hora es noon? Mediodía. Mediodía. O sea, a las 12. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Entonces, si come desayuno. Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then, <laughs> let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast Oh, they imagine what time are they going to have breakfast? Uh -huh. One o'clock. So what time do you usually have breakfast? On Sundays. ¿A qué hora tienen el, el breakfast on Sunday? At one o'clock? 
Yes, no? Eight. A la una, también a la una tenemos el desayuno on Sunday. Yes. So, do we have a place here in El Salvador? Tenemos algún lugar que sea similar a Susan's Coffee Shop. Yes, we Maybe do. Up coffee. Up, up coffee cup. The coffee cups, será que they serve a breakfast all day? Similar. Yeah. The coffee cup, really? Pero hay un yeah. lugar que 24-7 que pueden servir desayuno todo el día. That's a station. Reservona. It can be, if not really. Denny's, there you go. Gas Denny's. Gas station as well. The gas well. station as well, right? So, look at this one. Miren ese mensaje de Susan's Coffee Shop. Maybe it's too small. We serve breakfast all day. We serve breakfast all day. So if you want to have breakfast at one, go to Susan's Coffee Shop, okay? Imagine, 1 p.m., so that is a nice conversation. Let's continue. Eat at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does. Auxiliary verbs, auxiliary verbs, do and does. Are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Okay. Does equals to he, she, and it. Okay. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, he she, she, and it. And it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. Okay, look at the formula. For yes or no questions, do or does, plus subject. Okay. Plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word, plus do or does, plus a subject, plus a verb, plus some kind of complement. Okay, let's stop here. Let me go back to the board. If you notice, he was mentioning WH questions and yes, no questions. ¿Cuáles son esas WH questions? What? What? what ah. Where? When? When? Time. when where? Who? 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 Excellent. Ya veo que recuerdan el módulo anterior. What time do you get up on Sunday? What time do you get up on Sunday? Or How often do you visit uh, the coffee uh -huh. cup? How often do you visit the coffee cup? I never visit the coffee cup. How about you, Marlon? Probably only one once a week once a week wow once a week so do you wake up late on sunday yes i do no no i don't okay yes i do no i don't so those are wh questions and do and that but look were we missing something será que nos hacía algo falta algo en la fórmula sí o no Si fueron, ¿qué nos hacía falta? El question mark. Don't forget about that, please. No olvidemos eso. I'm sorry. Do and does. So, is it clear? Is it clear? Si estamos claros con el uso de do and does. Yeah. 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 Yes. Don't forget that we have here. He, she, and it. We are going to use the auxiliary does okay 
there you go. So look, they were talking about routines. If you notice in the conversation, they were talking about routines. Cameras on, Juana, Catherine, Christian, Christian Alonai, Jennifer, Roxana. Aha, what are you doing, guys? Voy a pensar que estamos comiendo algún pan dulce con café. Sí, apagan esa cámara. Encendamos las cámaras. So daily routines. For example, what time do you get up on a regular uh, or every day on a regular basis? What time do you get up? ¿A qué hora se levantan? Uh, get up or wake up? Wake up. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Get up, wake up. Uh, the different. The wake up when the action uh -huh. is the, you only open your eyes. And get up when do you um, out. You, you get you out of bed. bed. There you go. I need you to give me a definition in English. So let me help you. Write down this in your not on your notebook, please. la definición en inglés, not Spanish. Get up okay. is when you up from your bed and wake up and when you open your eyes. Muy bien, estamos muy bien. Aquí vamos. Let me help you out with this. Wake up means to open your eyes to be awake, estar despierto. Get up means to stand up, get out of bed. So write it down. This is important information, okay? So don't confuse wake up, get up. Wake up, get up. So I was asking you, what time do you wake up? Esa era mi pregunta en específico. Y luego les pregunto, what time do you get up? What time do you usually wake up? At 5 a.m., at 6 a.m. No, what time? Uh -huh. No, from Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Oh. Okay. Um, At 6 a.m. At 6, okay. And you, Reverend? Uh -huh. I am. Okay. Ana Maria, excellent. Ana Karina, what time do you wake up? 4 a.m. 8. No. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. A.m. A las 8 de la mañana. Four. Oh, four. Oh, yo dije a las ocho. Wow, you're a lucky girl, dije. Pero no. Wow, too early. Joaquín, what uh -huh. time do you wake, wake up? Five a.m. Five a.m. Carlos Villalobos. Yes. What time do you wake up? Three a.m. What time do you wake up? 4 a.m. At 4 a.m., wow. Adriana, what time do you get up? I usually get up around 7 o'clock a.m. 7, wow, you're a lucky girl. 7 a.m., imagine. Let me see, let me ask. Samuel, what time do you get up? Eh, teacher, a mí todavía me cuesta un poquito eso. Ah, vaya, clase, ayudémosle, estamos para ayudarnos. ¿Qué es wake up? Wake up es cuando... Despertar. Despertar, abro mis ojos, no. estoy despierto. Get up, ajá, muy bien. Get up es la acción. I stand up, I get out of bed. Me despierto, perdón. Me levanto y salgo de mi cama. Es la acción, ya salgo de mi cama, ¿ok? So, what time do you get up? ¿A qué hora te levantas? What time do you get up? Yes? Are you okay? 
I get up. Okay, let's try with somebody else. Christian Adonai, what time do you get up? Uh, 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Okay. Cristelia, what time do you get up? I get up at uh, 6. 6. Okay, so 6 a.m. Well, too early. I need you to copy these three questions. Vamos a trabajar en grupos y quiero verlos practicando en inglés. Number one. You are going to ask your classmates um, what time do you get up? Be careful, this is not wake up. Get up. And what time do you have lunch? And the last one. What time do you go to bed? Bien. Se las comparto en el chat de WhatsApp y nos unimos ahorita a practicar. ¿Y cómo respondemos? Lo mismo. Siempre tengamos el cuidado de decir, por ejemplo, Samuel, what time do you get up? Jorge, what time do you go to bed? Digamos el nombre antes, ¿ok? Para que sepamos a quién dirigimos la pregunta. La entonación también, hagámosla correctamente. Corrijámonos entre compañeros. Practiquemos ahorita. Let me see. Five groups of five members. Here we go. I'm going to send this to WhatsApp. Here we go, nine or ten, un grupo de las nueve diez. Acá está. There you have it, class. Three questions. Three, 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 three. Okay, I'm just missing Ana Karina, Ana Maria. Okay, I wanna listen to you practicing. Okay. In camera. Con, okay. Camera. Excellent. Thank you for helping me out. Gracias por ayudarme. <laughs> ah, hoy, hoy los puedo ver. Hoy sí los veo. Ah, nice to meet you. Hoy sí los puedo ver. Come on, class. I need to see you. Go. ¿Quién empieza? Who's going to start? Mm, me. Mm -hmm. Hello. Go, Ana Maria. Uh, uh -huh. uh, what time do you get the air? First, the name. First, the name. What time do you get up? Who? I have Roxana, um, Edgar, Ana Karina. Uh, Roxana. 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 Mm, so, Edgar. No, Roxana, what time do you get up? Así va la fórmula, ¿ok? Go, Ana María, one more time. Uh -huh. Entonces, what time do you, what time do you have lunch, um, Edgar? Ok. Um, around 1, um, 1 and 30 p.m. I take my lunch. Oh, wow. Okay, continue, continue class. What time do you go to bed? Edgar, or quién? A quién va a dirigir el Okay. Did you finish? <laughs> yes, you did. Cameras on, Catherine, Jose Armando. So Kevin, ask your classmates. Vamos, Kevin, you can do it. Jose okay. okay, Armando, uh, what time do you wake up? I, I wake up in 7 a.m. Okay, uh, Joaquin, uh, what time do 
what time to to do to the go to the bed. Lo último no te entendí, compañero. Okay, sorry. Uh, what time do you go to the bed? Si me podías decir lo último en español, porfa. Eh, ¿A qué hora se va a dormir o a la cama? Uh -huh. 11 p.m. At 11 p.m. Ok, continue, guys, continue. Eh, ask me a question. Yes, girls and boy. Adriana, okay. creo que usted le toca. Okay, go. Eh, Carlos, what time do you get up? To four a.m. And Jennifer, what time do you have lunch? I have a lunch at one p.m. And Sandra, what time do you do you go to bed? I usually go to the bed uh, then um, half p.m. Carlos. Jenny. <laughs> Sí. Vamos clases, no tengamos miedo Esta es la oportunidad de practicar La primera, vamos como es la primera O Rebeca, veamos Rebeca, pregúntale a alguno de tus compañeros What time do you get up? ¿A quién? ¿A quién va dirigida la pregunta? Eric, what time do you get up? Jorge, what time do you get up? Eh, okay. Go Cualquiera, cualquiera I get up at night o'clock I get up at uh, yeah, six o'clock. In my case, I get up at 5 a.m. o'clock. Okay, I like it, you know? Para que se vea como más clara la información, miren, Jorge dijo a.m. Porque podríamos pensar at 6 o'clock en la tarde, hasta las 6 de la tarde. No, seamos específicos. I get up at 6 a.m. Usemos esas expresiones, a.m. y p.m., ¿ok? Ajá, para que quede más clara la información. 6 a.m. Ok, en practice. Don't be shy. Vamos, clase. Practiquemos. Practice en practice. Les voy a mandar a otras compañeras por acá. Continue. Para referirse directamente a la hora en la que usted se va a despertar. Puede ser a las 10 de la mañana, 10 a.m. o 4 a.m. Entonces sería, I wake up at 4 a.m. A de A, M de M, A.M. Tiene que pronunciar bien la, la última para que... Yo solamente, yo solamente lo dejé como, I usually get up at 6 p.m. No, perdón, o'clock, I am. No sé. Lo que pasa es que, como te estoy preguntando, um, what time do you wake up? Uh -huh. So, if you 
ask asks you what time do you get up? I get up at 10 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry, 10, 10 a.m. or 7 a.m. 4 a.m. Porque estás diciendo ya a esa a esa a las 4 a.m. Yo ya estoy de pie, o sea, ya estoy fuera de mi cama. No, no ya... sería 6. Oh, um, o sea, un, un, exactly. un ejemplo. Exactly. Entonces, yeah, and you're right. Marlon es, está correcto en lo correcto. Siempre seamos específicos. What time do you get up? Seamos específicos a.m., p.m., porque si decimos at 6, yo puedo pensar que se levantan a las 6 de la tarde. Puede ser, no sabemos. Seamos específicos. Usemos eh, time expressions. AM, PM, midnight, noon, todo eso, ¿ok? Siempre seamos específicos, ¿ok? So, excellent job. Did you finish? Yes. Ok, so, let's go back. Volvemos a la sesión principal. Now. Ok, here we go. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, right. So it's quite interesting. Me gusta visitar los grupos, ver cómo interactúan. Chicos, no tengamos miedo. No los quiero ver callados. La idea de los grupos es que ustedes practiquen entre compañeros, ¿ok? Por favor. So let's practice here. Vamos a practicar ahorita acá. Three different questions, okay? How are we going to do it? Right now, like this one. Question number one. What is the question number one? What time do you? Time do you get up? What time do you get up? Okay, Marlon, can you ask Jennifer, please? Ahorita solo la uno. No me nos pasemos a ninguna otra pregunta. Marlon, ask Jennifer Mercedes, please. Jennifer, tell me what time do you get up? I get up uh, usually at 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, usually I get up. One more time, Jennifer. Listen to the to Marlon. Usually get up 6 a.m. I... <laughs> Remember, when do you want to say um, the first person? Do you need to use a use a bird? Oh, I'm sorry, subject and um, I. Yeah. I usually. I usually get up. Get up at six a.m. At, at, at six a.m. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. Eso es lo que quiero. Entre ustedes se ayuden, ¿ok? Acá yo solo dirijo la clase. Ustedes son los protagonistas. Muy bien. So Jennifer, ask Kevin. Same question to Kevin. Kevin Alexander. Kevin, Kevin, what time do you get up? No, no. Intonation. What, what time do you get up? Okay. I get up at uh, 6 a.m. Okay. Now, Kevin, ask Ana Maria. Uh, the same question or different? The same, same. Okay. What time do you get up? I get up at 4 a.m. and or 3 a.m. Wow, Ana Maria, that's yes. too early. Imagine, muy temprano. Yes. Es muy valiente estar despierta todavía, Ana Maria. Bien, <laughs> Ana Maria, ask Cristelia. Pregúntele a Cristelia. Same Cristelia. question. Yes. Okay. Same question. Yes. What time do you get up, Cristelia? I usually get up at 6.40 a.m. Okay. So, Cristelia, ask Christian Alberto. Christian, what time do you get up? I get up at 4 a.m. Wow, 4 a.m., Christian. That's very early in the morning. So, Christian ask Christian Adonai the second question. 
Pregúntale a Cristian la segunda pregunta. Cristian, where were you? ¿Qué se me hizo? Go, Cristian. What? What? Yes. What time do you have lunch? Yes, Christian. Usually, do you have lunch and pay pay on? I usually have lunch. Mm -hmm. One more time, please. Usually, time they have lunch and eighteen. ¿A qué horas, Cristian? Vamos a ver. Hagámoslo entre todos. What time do you have lunch? ¿A qué horas tiene el almuerzo? I usually. I lunch at. ¿A qué horas? Yo escuché eso. ¿Ustedes clases escucharon eso? No. 10 a.m. Yes, no? Yes. Really? But is this, is this breakfast or lunch? ¿Sería este desayuno o almuerzo? <risa> o cómo le llamamos al desayuno almuerzo, saben eso cómo le llamamos brunch. al eso es un brunch brunch, brunch. la combinación de so oh, I usually have brunch at 10 a.m. bien, hay algunos que necesitamos comer temprano, so don't worry Cristian pregúntale, Cristian ask let me see José Armando tú José Armando José, what do you day do you have lunch? I have lunch. Uh, m. What time do you have lunch? I have lunch at. at I have lunch. Nine m. At nine a.m. <laughs> That's I'm scared. Really? <laughs> Why? PM. Why? PM. PM. <laughs> Lunch. Uh, What is hola. lunch class? ¿Qué es lunch? Almuerzo. 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 <laughs> Don't worry. One more time. Jose Armando, what time do you have lunch? What time do you have lunch? I have lunch at, uh, ¿cómo se dice? 20, 12. I have, uh, 11, 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Thank you, my friends. Excellent. 12 or 11. Okay, that's acceptable. Now, Jose Armando ask Ana Karina. Ana Karina, what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at 1 p.m. I usually have lunch at 1 p.m. I usually have lunch. Okay. A la una. Exactly. Very good job. Questions about this? No? So let's continue with number three. Ana Karina, third question. Ask Edgar Francisco, please. What time do you go to bed? Edgar, what time do you, do you go to bed? Usually go to bed um 11 p.m. Wow, at 11 p.m. Edgar, ask Juana Beatriz. Uh, repeat the name, please. Juana, Juana. Juana, okay. Yes. Juana, what time do you go to bed? What time do you go Ah, ok. Juana, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Class, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Edgar, I'm sorry. What time? Do you go to bed? Do you go to bed? Vamos a hacer, miren, un affirmative statement. Estamos usando el symbol present. Cosa que ya vimos. Y les pregunté, preguntas, ¿está todo claro? Yes, teacher, claro, muy claro. Usemos el tiempo presente. Veamos, Juana, what time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora se acuesta o se va a la cama? I go to be. Go. Go, go to bed. Be at. at. Uh -huh. 
11 p.m. Bien, estamos muy bien. Bien. Ahora quiero escuchar esa oración una vez más. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? I was when I am at 11 p.m. Bien, claro. So, don't be afraid. No tengan miedo de equivocarse, que les corrijan. No, esa es la idea, ¿ok? Para que no andemos dudando después. So, let's go back to the last part. I don't know if you had time to read this one. But let's take a look at the first ex ex exercise. Mamita, guarda la zoom. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <please>. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, mom. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Okay, if you notice this one, we have some examples about students. They are talking about their daily routines, but um, maybe not the video. I have another exercise here. Teacher, esa parte no me quedó clara porque ahí iba a empezar la tarea y no le hallé, no le hallé, no le hallé. Ah, pues no. entonces ahorita vamos acá, ahorita vamos acá sobre la tarea. Eso también está en el libro, veamos. Mira una pregunta, ¿hasta cuándo, hasta qué? Sección 2, oh. sección 2, porque para el lunes ya tenemos que movernos a la sección 3. Okay. Bien, ok. Here we go. Look at this daily routine. So you can have an idea. We are talking about Lisa. Lisa is a student at university. Here is her daily routine. Veamos la rutina de Lisa, okay? I need one volunteer to read these five um, activities. Mm -hmm. Jorge, go. Jorge fue el primero. Go, Jorge. I always wake up at seven in the morning. I usually have breakfast at 7.30. I catch the bus, the university at 8. I usually start studying at 8.30. I always have lunch at noon. Okay. Marlon, continue. I finish university at 4.15 in the afternoon. Um, I'm sometimes go to the move movie with my friends in the evening. I usually have dinner with my family at about seven in the evening in the evening. Mm -hmm. I never go to the I never go to bed before eleven o'clock. Uh, I often go to bed at midnight. Midnight. So si se fijan usamos el simple present afirmativo todo para eh, describir la rutina solo que aquí le agregamos las horas time expressions pero no quiero irme con eso que me dice Ana María no entiendo la sección de la pregunta this one sería esta Ana María yes no vaya si se fijan sí. ¿Qué es estaba, no le, estaba no. perdón Yes. Eso está un poco confuso. Ah, bueno, veamos entonces para que no les quede duda. Dice ah, bastante Brittany. confuso para mí. Ok, veamos, aquí vamos. Teacher. Tell me. Sorry, eh, lo que yo entiendo es que él como está a entender que como ya hay que buscar un orden, según lo que dice ahí el cuadro, uh -huh. hay que buscar el orden. Entonces, uh -huh. por eso queda uno, Pero dos, yo no tres. Entonces, ¿Qué es lo primero que ella hace? ¿Lo segundo, lo tercero, lo cuarto y lo quinto? Exactamente, si Ajá. se fijaron ahí sí, está la okay. red. Eso, eso lo entendí yo, o sea, que era un orden el que se iba a llevar, pero ¿cómo lo iba a ordenar? No, no lo entendí. Lo que pasa es que no está de acuerdo, digamos, a la imagen, sino que ah, hasta en bien. la parte de abajo okay. están Ajá. unidas todas. Entonces, ahí es donde estaba un poco confuso. Entonces, Ajá, si hagámoslo de acuerdo a nuestra lógica, entonces, she gets up. She takes the bus, she goes to class, she works, she studies. Veamos si lo menciona en ese orden. So, when do you study? Si no, gracias por el comentario, yo lo hago llevar para que me corrijan esta parte de la plataforma, porque si no, te va a salir nota baja. 
Okay. Las, solo sí, de la sí. primera tenían la, 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 la duda. O Ajá, de la, yo de las tres, porque Las tres. No, lo que pasa, lo que pasa es de que si se fija, eh, están primero las tres imágenes y por último están las respuestas. Es correcto. A mi punto de vista tendría que estar la imagen Ajá. y la resolución. Imagen y resolución. Entonces, no está de, uh, así. No les bueno, aparece en así. En mi teléfono no me parece. Ah, así. bueno, pero um, si se fijan, y perdón que aquí está la primera parte ya resuelta, pero falta. Este es el ejemplo. Si se fijan en no. el ejemplo, acá está. 3, 2, 4, 5, 1. Entonces, nos vamos y leemos el 2. Mike, what's your schedule uh -huh. like? Vamos a hacerlo más grandecito, creo que sí puedo. Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. Entonces, ¿qué es lo primero que hace? I get up. Buscamos get up. Y lo primero es uno, porque es la primera acción que hace. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Luego dice, and go for a run before breakfast. Me voy a correr antes de correr el desayuno. Antes de Entonces, desayunar. ¿qué nos dice? ¿Qué es lo segundo que hace? Correr. Correr. ¿Tenemos acá la opción correr? Sí. Entonces, ¿qué uh -huh. número es ese? Number dos, two. two. Y luego dice que se va a correr antes del de desayuno. O sea, primero uh -huh. corre, luego tiene desayuno, que es la opción uh -huh. número uh, tres. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cuál nos queda pendiente? Empieza a trabajar uh -huh. y tiene uh -huh. la pena. Leamos. ¿Qué hace primero según su lógica? Trabaja y luego cena. tiene la cena. Ah, ok, así vamos entonces. Y lo mismo con la parte 4. Usen uh -huh. en la misma eh, lógica. Esa está, está confusa porque ella dice que ella trabaja a las 10 pm. Vale, hagámoslo ahorita, no se preocupen. Uh -huh. Le pregunta, what's your schedule like? I work uh -huh. at night. I go work at 10 pm and I play uh -huh. until 3 am. Ok. Creo que acá es la rutina al contrario. Empieza describiendo lo que hace en la noche, pero recordemos que nuestra rutina empieza siempre en la mañana. Luego uh -huh. le dice, ella, ella simplemente empezó a describir la noche. What do you do after work? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at... Se va a las 5 de la mañana a la cama. Ah, entonces uh -huh. veamos. ¿Cómo es tu horario? O sea, que el horario de ella empieza describiéndolo en la noche. Es que ella como que empieza, uh -huh. trabaja en la noche. Trabaja de noche, por uh -huh. eso. Ella entendí yo por eso. Sí, entonces, ella trabaja de noche, pero... Según el, exacto, según la lectura, vámonos de acuerdo a la lectura, lo primero es, se va... A trabajar. Sí, a trabajar. ¿Qué hace después de irse a trabajar? Ay, termina su trabajo. Finish to work. Sería, work. claro, termina. ¿Y qué sigue después, Clark? She has Luego dinner. Dice, She tiene has dinner. dinner. She, mm -hmm. I have dinner. Está esa opción acá. Aquí está. Sí. ¿Y luego mm -hmm. qué hace? Mm -hmm. Se va a la casa. Se va a la casa. Uh -huh. She goes home. There you go. Si ¿Sí está claro, por lo más claro la, 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 el ejercicio, ¿sí? Sí. ¿Valió la pena darnos un par de minutitos más? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, gracias. Sí, yes. para eso estamos, para aclararles cualquier cosa, díganmelo, así lo resolvemos al inicio de la clase o pausamos. No. So, we are going to stop the class here. Cualquier pregunta. Say... Yes, tell me, Marlon. So, The people, if you want to help, so let me know. I can, I can try to Thank help. Thank you so much. Gracias. Todos estamos en el chat. Cualquier post que también quieran compartir en el grupo, siempre bienvenido, ¿ok? Para que podamos interactuar y ahí interactuemos en WhatsApp. Ahí estamos para eso, ¿ok? También ahí estoy yo. Nadie me ha preguntado nada. Me entristece. ¿Qué pasa? Pónganme a trabajar, ¿ok? Hagan que yo les Disculpe. Ayude. ¿Y cómo aparece usted en el, en el... En el chat? Ahorita van a saber quién soy. Voy a tomar el screenshot y quien envía el screenshot va, voy a ser yo. Three, two, and one. Smile. Ajá, ¿Por qué tienen las cámaras apagadas? Ah, Kristen. 
<risa> Wake up. Yo Three. porque me siento mal de salud, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry, que Estaba ahí sonándome la nariz. Por eso la apagué. Ok, three, two, and one. Here we go. Ok, ya van a identificar quién soy yo. Here we go, class. If we don't have questions, we are going to stop the class here. And we are going to meet on Monday. Don't forget to practice, ok? Bye bye. Have a great night. Y que se mejore también. Bye bye. Bye, class. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.